thousands of people showed up for the Plymouth Waterfront Festival and many participated in the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. The ALS Ice Challenge had a booth on Water Street that was accepting donations and issuing tickets for the challenge. Up on Cole Hill, more tickets were issued and preparations were made for the 3 p.m. Ice Bucket Challenge. Buckets were filled with ice and water and set up at the edge of the hill. I spoke with several people on the hill. Lee Harrigan had this to say. Okay, we're down here in uh, Plymouth, Massachusetts on the waterfront and it's an absolutely beautiful day. Cool breeze coming off the ocean. Uh, they're having a benefit to help uh, cure ALS, which affects many young people. And if you come down here, you can pour a bucket of ice cold water all over a family member for only a $20 donation. Come on down to Plymouth and join us on the waterfront. Ken Holmes had this to say. Well, here we are, the first ever ice bucket challenge in Plymouth, Mass at the Waterfront Festival in 2017. We hope to raise enough money to cure ALS. We know that's not going to happen today, but we'll try. Anyway, all of people down below, over here, we hope to have them come up here and dump a bucket of water and ice on their head at 3 o'clock today. I got 14 or 15 grandsons of mine running around here too that are going to help me today. And I want to really thank Mr. Harrigan for helping me out. Thank you, Bill. Fran Poirier had this to say. Good afternoon here in Plymouth, Massachusetts. We're here for the Ice Bucket Challenge today. It's for a great cause. Hopefully we can kill this disease before it takes any more loved ones from our families. And uh, I hope there are more people that are willing to do this today. May God bless. Jeff Poirier had this to say. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Poirier and today we're at Plymouth, we're in Plymouth and we're are, we are having a festival because everybody that has been got really sick because has disease. We're trying to raise money so after because we don't want anybody to get get really sick because we want everybody to feel all nice but not feel like really sick. Jennifer DiMassino from ALS1 also spoke. Hi everyone, we are up here at the top of the hill. If you look up and you see the orange buckets and all of us up here, we're doing the ice bucket challenge at three o'clock. Did you know that two weeks ago, Governor Baker signed a bill declaring one week in August every year until the cure for ice bucket challenge week. Ice bucket challenge was started on behalf of three men, one of whom was Pete Frady's right here in Massachusetts. It's raised millions of dollars going towards ALS research and care. And we are not stopping until we find that cure. Today in Plymouth, you can help and do your part by taking part in the Ice Bucket Challenge right up here at the top of Coles Hill. Come on up and buy your ticket and be part of, get, get involved and get part of the, be part of the fun. Did you also know that we have the very first license plate in Massachusetts to fund ALS research and care? We need about 30 more license plates before the state will begin production on the plates. Just to give you an example of how much funding this can create, the right whale plate, which has that nice whale on the license plate, has been around since 1993, has raised over $20 million for the Preserve the Trust campaign. Imagine what that would do for ALS research and care in Massachusetts once we get those plates on cars. If you come on up, we can give you an application to reserve your license plate for ALS in Massachusetts. Thank you so much. <coughs>
everybody that participated in the challenge got wet for a great cause. And many said they would be back next year, hopefully to celebrate the finding of a cure. Of course, I do not know how well the fundraiser did, but from what I could see, it was doing very well. They plan to hold this every year until ALS is history. Ha, ha, ha.